Uh, Sorry, I was muted. Um, yeah. So we're on Shopify. Okay. And so you also mentioned that you are transitioning from the offline world to the online world. Uh, what are your numbers online versus offline? Like what percentage of business comes uh, online versus offline? Oh, so now we've always been direct to consumer and we've always been online, but, um, but before the pandemic happened, we did a lot of pop-up events with partners and that has all transitioned online for the okay. time being. We've done one, uh, one in-person partnership in California, um, but it's still, you know, it's still very far and few between um, with the in-person experiences versus our online experiences are growing. Mm -hmm. uh, are you also selling on Amazon? No. No. Uh, why? No, we, uh, we really, oh, sorry, go ahead. Why? Um, because we, we really want to be a small growing business. Um, and we understand that you know, everyone seems to be shopping on Amazon, but we, we feel that there is value um, outside of Amazon with a lot of small businesses. Um, and that, you know, in order to keep our products the highest level that we want them to be, we don't want to compromise um, you know, the value that we give in order to grow. Hmm. Let me ask you a counter question. Why should somebody sell on Amazon? Why should somebody sell on Amazon? I mean, Amazon has the largest audience. They dominate right now. Um, but I personally feel like there should be more competition out there. I, you know, I feel that even though that's nice as a marketplace and that consumers can go to one spot, um, there should be more options. There should be more small businesses that thrive. Are you guys funded, bootstrapped? Bootstrapped. Uh, profitable? Uh, yes, and growing. Excellent. Uh, what's the future plan of your company in next three years, four years, five years? The future plan of our company? Yeah. So for our company, I mean, we look to grow online. Um, we're, we're looking to grow our revenue, obviously, and our, um, our customer base. Um, also our partnerships, we're going to be launching a new line of essentials um, in 2021. It's in development right now. And we're also bringing a lot of our manufacturing back to the U.S. We've been working with a manufacturer in L.A. Uh, as well as doing some of our products in New York. And uh, I don't want to give it all away, but we've been in talks to create more of a manufacturing hub in one location in the U.S. So our, our idea is to bring back the manufacturing and the quality and the um, ability to create these essential wardrobes here in the U.S. 